standing here today at the Pohick Bay Regional Park, which is on uh, Gunston Cove, a body of water of the tidal Potomac River that is located downstream from the major sewage treatment plant in Fairfax County. So Gunston Cove is an embayment, well, which is basically a freshwater lake that receives both Pohick as well as uh, Akatink Creek uh, discharge. Our discharge from the Noman Coal comes through the Pohick Creek. When it gets to Norman Coal, it undergoes a series of treatments. We have what we call the primary treatment system, we have a secondary treatment system, and a tertiary treatment system. It's about 45 million gallons of average a day that's released to Pohe Creek after it's been treated. It's important actually for the plant to make sure that that water is clean enough so that when it hits the embayment, it can sustain life. And uh, Pohe Creek, the flow in Pohe Creek is actually 95% of our effluent. Keeping that water clean, free as low as possible of nutrients and bacteria, is critical to maintaining the habitat that you see behind you. The state of the water here today is very good, and the reason why we know that, we're also taking samples that we will measure constituency uh, in the lab, but we can tell just by looking at the water, because it's very clear, you can see the bottom about a meter down, there's a lot of plants growing in the water which help to keep it clean. So over 30 years ago, the wastewater management program started a partnership with the University, George Mason University. Since 1984, we've been coming out twice a month during the spring into the summer and early fall, testing the water for various chemical constituents, including the nutrients that overstimulate the algae. And also, we have been measuring biological characteristics of the water, like zooplankton, benthos, and fish. And we have been studying the cove, watching a progression of uh, beneficial uh, improvements to the cove, including an increase in the uh, submerged vegetation, which is critical habitat for maintaining fish and other species and the biology of, of the cove that sustains the fish. These grasses filter, they filter the water, they provide beds for the fish to lay their eggs. It's only positive benefits from underwater grasses that are growing. This study has achieved worldwide recognition as a, an example of how our water bodies can be cleaned up and how it does take time, but if you persist, you will achieve your result. Our job is to make the water quality match the pristine beauty of this park. We achieve it through all these different parameters that I've, I've given to you and just in the constant monitoring that we that we do. We're very proud of the effort that's taken place here. This, this effort has been recognized nationally, has received awards. Our plant is it's a highly awarded for its treatment efforts. We think that's a combination of a lot of effort from a lot of folks in Team Fairfax that makes this possible.